Welcome back to the Cherry Picking Hockey Podcast, episode number 10. We've hit double digits, boys. How are we feeling today? We did it. We, we made did it, it, guys. We made it. Double digits. We made it. Drew, how are we Ten feeling? episodes. Ten episodes. It's a lucky number. Lucky number 10. Is that a lucky number? I don't know. Captain Drew, how you feel about 10 episodes? Is Drew the captain of this podcast? Yeah, he's captain. Captain. Host, Big captain, C. I guess. I wear um, the A. Yeah. Wear the C. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going really well. Mm-hmm. I think so. Maybe uh, we'll get people to drop down in the comments their favorite part last 10 episodes. Yeah. What's your favorite moment? Favorite moment of the pod. Maybe uh, when we hit 25 episodes, we'll do a best of video. <laughs> yeah, best of. It's <laughs> like a clip a show. recap. Yeah, clip show. Recap. <laughs> Amazing but, memories. Yes. Okay. First topic today. Alexi Lafreniere, is he a complete bust? No. I gotta what? take my gum out. Um, yeah, we can hear your gum. Yeah, yeah. that's bad. Mm-hmm. That's bad. Um, there's been talks about could this be a huge bust? Like when you say complete bust, like he's an NHL player right now. Maybe mm-hmm. he's not first overall quality, but he's an NHL player. So well, what's he, going wrong? What's going wrong with him, John? If you, as a New York guy, yeah, because he was he was like he was supposed to come in the league and be amazing yeah i thought he was mm-hmm. he's like a it's just like lack of opportunity because they're so stacked on the wings like yeah. they already they had to move like they had to move like buchnevich out they had to move a bunch of guys out you just, are a secret rangers fan i'm not a secret Rangers. your fan. explanation is that the rangers are too good for him to be good <laughs> no okay well i'm saying okay look look at the it's like it's like uh like look at their depth chart like he's behind Kreider and panarin on the left he doesn't play the right side he does not play center at all oh my god dryden hunt gets a top six job over him yeah, but Giant Hunts are again, okay, like he plays the left side. He's just not playing the right wing. Why, why can't he play the right he, wing? Hasn't he played the right side before? Has he? No, he's like no. like almost like solely a left wing. Which is crazy. Wow. It's just I don't know. I I'm not like giving him an excuse like he should be better, but it's like not the most favorable situation. I don't think he's he's definitely not where he should be. It's it's wild. In the I World mean, Jays, he was so good. Like was dominate. He, was dominant. he that good though? Yes, he was that good. I guess, but I mean, ten points in five games. He was definitely like the guy for the team. So and what happened? Is it just? Is it just they don't give him enough minutes, or is he no, just not deserving the minutes? I think he just hasn't transitioned well. Yeah, some guys it takes a little bit. I feel like he's a guy who would have like benefited from some AHL time, but yeah. like when you're first overall, you come in, you're mm-hmm. like. I feel like Crosby and McKinnon being such home runs too. Yeah, you, you just kind of get that association. Given a he's a Quebec guy, or yeah, a guy, and you're just like, oh, he's gonna be a hit too. Yeah, he came from came from Ramouski, same team as Crosby. So, Ugh. so here's the question: Is he gonna is he going to be the best player in that draft class? No, looking at it, looking at Byfield. I'm a big Byfield guy. Oh, it's That's kind of to, early. I'm I'm worried about Byfield. This is a guy who's seen him play with the Wolves. And uh, seeing him in the World Juniors was rough. He was, he, yeah, he looked way worse. Uh, than that but a lot of people yeah. struggle as yeah. uh, underage in the Stutzla's World. Stutzla's been real good. No, well, yeah. looking at the draft class, it's obviously Lucas Raymond so far. Yeah, uh, Stutzla has one point this year. Yeah, yeah, he, has, he hasn't been good this Stutzel's year. That's fair. He had a really, he, had, he was really good last year. Yeah, uh, this year he has been great. I think Drysdale too. Like you look at that, like. It's looking pretty good. I Lindell, mean, he's getting like, it's okay. Lindell, someone who surprised me that he fell to 12. I think Lindell or Lucas Raymond are going to be the best players in this draft. So you think that it's not for near, for sure not going to be the best player? Yes. Okay. Mm. I mean, I Askarov. Askarov's been so good in the KHL for a guy that age. That's a but, guy like, that's a guy who could be mm-hmm. like Carey Price in his draft class or. He could actually be the best player. There's been a lot like we this year. We're seeing a lot of these players. Like Lundell's been good for Florida. You're looking at even Dawson Mercer for New Jersey. He's been decent. decent I, yeah, for, I, but I, looking at the I, other guys, like Lafreniere could still easily be better than Dawson Mercer. Yeah, I, might, you know I, mean? I think right. he's going to yeah. be more on the Dawson Mercer level than he will be on the Lundell Raymond, maybe even Byfield level. We haven't seen anything from Byfield. Yeah, yeah. is mm-hmm. Perfetti on anyone's radar? So yeah, they can not right now. I feel Paul like Paul Maurice hates him. The the issue is is that Winnipeg team like, if you're not in the top six, like mm-hmm. it's gonna be tough. Like we saw what Pierre Luc Dubois when he wasn't in the top six and he was on PP two, he's pretty irrelevant. Mm-hmm. So I feel like Perfetti, the opportunity there might take a while. Yeah, and he's a guy. He's a natural center. He's been he's being blocked by like they got Shifley Dubois, they got Lowry, and then they also have a uh, uh, what's his name. Uh, Stastny blocking him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, these, right. Yeah. So, so this team is really good. They're really deep at center. So just like a guy like that, 
you probably want him playing down the middle. You don't want him on the wing as much. Perfetti could play wing. He can, but like if you want to get the most out of him, he's probably going to be a center long term. Mm-hmm. Anton Lindell looks like the next Barkov, which is weird because he's on Florida. That's high praise. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's that's brutal for him though, because like in any any other team, really, like he could see potentially a top six role. Perfetti or team. Lundell? Lundell. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, like he's just kind of stuck there. That would be him. an ins- that's an insane one two down the middle though. Yeah. He's gonna get a lot of tests now with if uh, Barkov's injury is serious. Mm-hmm. He'll look bad with his knee. But. Blake Wheeler has been horrible. You can't tell me that Perfetti can get a chance there. Paul Maurice loves Blake Wheeler. I know. That's the only thing. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, he is getting that shot. He's getting, yeah, just because mm-hmm. Joe Thornton, <laughs> <laughs> big Jumbo Joe. Heard uh, Jumbo Joe had the boys over for Thanksgiving. Um, in St. Thomas, I don't know where. I or heard he just had Florida. the of the boys. American Thanksgiving or Canadian Thanksgiving? American. So there. probably in Miami then. Yeah, probably. I guess Sunshine. <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't it Jack Hughes? Like we talked about Lafreniere, but Jack Hughes yeah. wasn't he horrible his first year too? Yeah. No, the difference though with Jack Hughes is like Jack Hughes' first year he looked really good. He just his team around him wasn't great, and he just like wasn't getting lucky. Lafreniere just hasn't looked that great. Yeah. It's also, there's been a stretch of kind of bad first overall picks, not just awesome first overall picks. Like Nico Heischer doesn't yeah. look too good. Mm-hmm. Like the best players in that draft were. Pedersen, like Makar is the best player in that draft. Yeah, high skin in. Would you consider Heisher a bust or just no? Like is a real good like yeah. second line center. Yeah, he's not like it's tough to call a guy a bust if he's like yeah, he's a bust for first overall, but he's not a bust like Na- Yakupov is a bust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know like Nolan saying? Patrick's probably closer to a bust. You know what I mean? Like they're both. Yeah, like Heisher is a real good. Like if Heisher got taken fifth overall, this like, is a horrible draft class. Yeah, it's just high skin in. Well, I mean, kill Makar, Pedersen. Makar, Makar, Heiskanen. Pedersen, Three to yeah. six is good. Nekish, and then Nekish is good. Is he? He's on the fourth. No, Nekish shot. is a good player. But he's not that good. Nick Suzuki is probably the Scroll third Scroll down player. to the second second round, Josh Jordan Kairou. Jordan Kairou? Yeah, maybe. He's in this draft, I think. Oh, there's a lot of NHL players in the second round. Yep. Oh, my God. It's like a real deep draft, but just the high Jason end isn't Robertson. as good. Formanton's pretty good. It's your guy. Still not that great. Like. Yeah. Compared I to did. other draft classes, it's not a great one. Yeah. Um, I guess talking about the Devils, he sure Hughes. How about those alternate jerseys? Oh, horrible. So bad. <laughs> oh, my God. So They're not even. <laughs> have you. If they look exactly like the Blackhawks, uh, like the winter classics from 2017 or something. They're like the exact same jersey. Twitter was just having a heyday with those. They were terrible. So I think Martin Brodeur designed them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why, I was gonna ask. Why is that allowed? Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> why is that? So Jersey. Hey, we need him to do something. Hey, can you design? Jersey, Jersey is apparently there. We oh, go. Good man. photo, right? Go back up. Look up. Oh, oh, that was that wasn't a great one. Look up we'll the Blackhawks Winter Classic jersey. They're the exact okay. same. So the white stripes make no sense at all on the sleeves. No, and you could have just thrown in some red somewhere on them. I don't understand how people consistently design terrible jerseys. Like, I feel like it's not that hard to come up with a cool jersey. I feel like it's not that hard to focus group some fans, yeah. some, like, fans of other teams. Like, like not like obviously, New Jersey fans are probably, like, 50-50 mm-hmm. on it, whereas the rest of the league is, like, we hate this. I like players know. Players yeah. know what a good jersey yeah. is. Yeah. Like, the yeah. Jets yeah. ones, really too, that were just, players. like, that light blue. Those those jerseys, they're the exact same jersey. That is true, those actually. Suck. Holy shit. It's insane. They, they just copy them. Those stink. Those yeah. stink, too. Yeah. Ugh. And That's there's bad. also all so the bad. Olympic jerseys came out too, right? Yeah, yeah they weren't great either. About that. Yeah. So Canada's just missed. So we think they missed? Yeah. I haven't seen it, the, the Canada ones. Way yet. too much black on yeah. them. We're gonna they went black? Yeah, they I, went. I love uh, the black Canada jerseys usually. Mm. They're just. Ooh, they, yeah, those are not good. They don't like it's a home. It's a Canada <laughs> jersey. It's a home Canada jersey with no white on it. How do the you only, do that? I find they have three like, of them, though. How do you, like, how do you, how do you fuck up the maple leaf? It's a red leaf. <sighs> so yeah, the leaf looks the easiest symbol. The leaf look. The leaf look. Ooh, those are bad. bad. I th- Olympic jerseys usually stink. I think the Finland ones are awesome. Those I like. Uh, no, I, I don't mind Finland. No, it was a good one. Is no, the, the North America one at the World Cup a couple years ago? That was clean. Those weren't clean. They should have gone with like a. The, the you I know the Summit Series ones or the Canada Cup yes, ones, I yeah. agree. like the, half flat, yeah, yeah, like yeah. half maple. I don't twenty eleven. That would be so good. The twenty eleven <laughs> World Junior jerseys are my favorite Canada. Was jerseys. that the Saskatchewan? Were they the green? No, not the green ones. They're like it's like a. It looks like the Canada. One. I think it's like with the hockey stick and it says Canada down them. 
I don't mind the uh, the U.S. white ones. I think those no. are U.S. had the best third jersey in all of sports. Yeah, where the one where they just the like that, that one. I like those a lot. No, I like the ones at the top. The ones they still wear at the World Juniors. The black, the white, the red. The that is, one's so mm, nice. Though. Like why not just stick with that? The Hockey yeah. Canada logo. I like yeah. that one though. It's just it's a little different. Like I don't know. It's just the green. The green ones were crazy when they wore green. Right I here. like this one. Yeah, the one I have. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Again, though, it's just Classic. it's red and white. Like that's all you have to do for. Do you yeah. remember when they uh, the they say Canada and the U.S. when they did the outdoor World Junior game? They pretty yeah. much wore Bills jerseys. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Those, those, those are sick. Yeah, they did. <laughs> those are kind of made. Made. But uh, the ones that you didn't that like say, those, Avery. Uh-uh. Oh, I thought those were clean. The ones that say USA that like yeah. they even wore the last World Juniors, right? Like with the red and white stripes, it's like the Summit not Summit Series. Um, the 1980 Miracle jerseys, basically. Yeah, those are so nice. Why, and they're made by Nike. Why yeah. don't they just wear those at the Olympics? I love, like, I don't know. These I like, ones yeah, are why not? sick. Maybe yeah. the best jerseys. Yeah, those Why are don't so they just wear that? The, the U.S. one is worse than the Canada one for this Olympics. See, Bottom why, left there. Why do they have yeah, to those change are it? Horrible. Oh, my God. Yeah. But, like, look at the old it looks USA like a soccer jersey. Yeah, yeah, those, those aren't, yeah, great. They, they those aren't great either, but at least they're better than the new ones. I don't mind though. I don't know. I feel like that is horrific. It's not so bad. The blue, it's not a, the blue, like what the? Why the hell do you have a blue with blue? blue and then those aren't bad blue. either. I, I those are like good. Those, those ones. ones. Yeah. The one, the USA with the flag at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, look at those the numbers are pretty nice. too. <laughs> oh god. Oh go, god. go one above the one you're at currently. Yeah. Why not that logo? Yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. nice. Yeah, I like that one. It's like I don't know. It's not too hard. big of a change. This is a jersey for you. True. For Jeremy. It's not. I mean, it's honestly, it's not hard to design a good jersey. Hockey jerseys are so easy. That's what to I'm make saying. Nice. It's not that yeah. hard to come up with a nice jersey. I don't know why like, consistently there's tough. such bad jerseys. For a country too, you have an established identity. Like yeah. you don't. You shouldn't change. Like experiment I with think, country. Do you think that the the jersey should just never change? I would be in favor of that over the shit that they put out. So I mean, yeah. like, it's not like mm-hmm. never change them. It's like just don't like just like the it. USA ones, yeah. like, like the USA and Canada ones. What they're like the fuck are those US like, jerseys? Like, <laughs> like soccer for, jerseys for Canada. It's not hard. You just go this red is and white. Yeah, that's the worst jersey. Yeah, right? jersey. Yeah. Like how like what so about, bad that if if you replaced USA with a was it Suomi for Finland. Those would look like Finland jerseys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah. would. Right? They would it's, 100% look like Finland jerseys. It's because the USA jerseys. is so established as red, white, and blue. Like, Canada's red and white. It's they not, just went with blue. <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're not, the red jersey. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's, it's not hard to make hockey jerseys. <laughs> those Finland ones are horrific. Oh, though. God. Those are so bad. <laughs> with the flag on That's the like jersey. The, it's just, like the, they yeah. said, what's the jersey? The flag. I like and those they just ones. printed it on. 2018 Olympics had pretty good jerseys, I think. Yeah. I think the World Cup of World Cup of Hockey, every jersey hit. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah, That's good. you know what Canada needs? Twenty six or two thousand six Olympics. The black one with the gold maple leaf. You know what oh, I'm talking yeah. about? That one was mm-hmm. so clean. Avery, we need that one. They did a black one in like two thousand fourteen to two thousand sixteen area too. That was super super clean too. Even that 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 little, one's nice. That yeah. Canada flag. Is I mean, really there's nice. no the, the issue we're seeing here is the uh, ones this year have no Canada on it. Like they have no Canada on it. Maybe that's what they. They're, maybe the, it's 2004 the ho- World Championship. I the think, homes maybe? and the alternates know. this year don't have white on them. That's a, the red one. I'm right there with the, the Canada cross with the red. That one's the gold okay. One. The Crosby so nice. one. I right do there. like that yeah, one. That one. Yeah, that Ooh, one was nice. That one. That that one's one's really it's just nice. like yeah. like the only elements you need for Canada so are true. red and white. If that's you don't have nice. red and white in it, Rip. it's a bad jersey. Yeah, I mean the low. The, I think are we gonna find this? It might be 2004. Like world, the leaf know, on Canada this year. black jersey yeah, the leaf was gold. Is stinks, bad. Man. The leaf it's is real bad. bad, really bad. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a shell. Yes. Oh my god! Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I, was actually I don't thinking know. About. Those ones are kind of those are kind of those know. are throwback jerseys though. I I, mean, they wore yeah. those. Those look like shit. I kind of like it. So bad. I don't like. I like those. that better than the current Olympic what? jersey. <laughs> But I, I mean, think I was thinking of the one with the stripe that says Canada. Like those are so are clean, though. I love those. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Such good clean jerseys. How do they fuck up these so hard? Like, Well, because they can't use that See, that logo, picture, too. Right? The one from 2014, the those Canada jerseys are so yeah. nice, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's not hard to make I'm pretty sure they jersey. can't use this logo. That's why they don't. Really? In, in Olympics? Yeah, I don't. I've never seen them use they it. Can't, yeah, they yeah. haven't used that in the Olympics uh, It might be all. like you're not allowed to have, you have to yeah. have like the, can't have like the, uh, I maybe because, maybe they, guys, it's because IH, IIHF yeah, does World know. Juniors and World yeah. Championships, and this is Olympics. Mm. Yeah, maybe. So those are IIHF yeah. logos. So weird. It's just, it's it's I don't weird. know. It's not hard. Let's move on here. I could talk about jerseys. Yeah. Same. I could do. I love it. No, sorry. I love jerseys. Yeah. Yeah, so we got, I got a Flames jersey we can... Uh, yeah, we had a comment that said we need a Flames jersey. So yeah. Is this the smallest side? Switzerland usually has sick jerseys. Yes. They look like Tissot 
brand. They do. Well, I mean, he still just uses the Swiss flag as their logo. <laughs> I so. know. Check. Yeah. I just think I don't know. They usually they usually have like pretty good ones. Eh. They're usually yeah, like pretty what? clean. Never mind. No. Take it back. I take it back. Horrific. Like Swiss Army. Yeah, those logo. are bad. No. Nope. Maybe think of a different country. I don't know. Okay. I like the the Czech ones. Czech I think are fine. Yeah. yeah. Slovakia is usually. Mm-hmm. Right. Sweden keeps it simple. They do the same thing every time. Yeah. And it looks yeah. good. Yeah. Gotta yeah. respect that, right? Yep. Gotta respect it. All right. Moving on here. McDavid House Tour. <laughs> <laughs> so give it a little back. You've been on this for a while. <laughs> the video that shocked the internet. I, okay, I actually <laughs> brought this up to you before yeah. this video came out. You brought out, it up on a was, podcast before this. Which was just, yeah. just a weird coincidence. Like yeah. the Manji Pawnee thing. Yeah. Wait, you brought up that McDavid. He's got a weird house. He just oh, weird you house. brought up his house before he did this tour. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weird coincidence. It is a weird coincidence. So he didn't want to do this tour. No. Clearly. Clearly. This is for his... He's doing this for as a favor to his wife. And it's you his know girlfriend, he heard, not even his girlfriend, wife. Shit, girlfriend, my bad. Girlfriend. Uh, and you know he heard it from the fellas afterwards, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. The yeah. fellas definitely... Well, probably think, playing it in the locker room, I think you he know? got in front of it and just said, boys, like, this video's gonna come out. It's not gonna look good. <laughs> yeah, boys, right. he probably <laughs> said, boys... You get in front of it, yeah. He probably said, boys, don't want to hear it. Yeah. Okay? The highlight, don't the highlight of this video is that dog. That Absolutely. dog is adorable. They na- they colored the house after the dog. That's the w- w- strange. The whole house is black and white. Like, There's zero color. It looks like an evil villain's lair almost. It does. I think this is. I think that house would make you sad. A hundred percent. I think that the size of it, the, all the straight lines, the lack of color, mm-hmm. you're like, there's, like, the patio has no furniture on it. I mean, it is winter there, but still, it just looks, everything looks it's, too, it's not too a home. straight lines. It's not yeah. a home. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a, like a museum. It looks like a hotel. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you, you gotta remember. It's like the he's, ROM. <laughs> yeah. He's, not, he's probably not even there that often. Like, no, he, in he the summer, he, he definitely yeah. leaves. <laughs> He definitely goes somewhere else. He's definitely in Muskoka. And yeah. Like he's Muskoka. definitely, yeah, he's not in Edmonton in the summer. So, I doubt. It's a real it. weird thought. Just imagine cleaning this house. They I mean, they cleaners. definitely have cleaners. They, they have cleaners. Yeah. Yeah. They I know they have, have cleaners, clean. but yeah. it's like, just imagine <laughs> having to clean Man, you, it. Imagine like David there. fucking you, cleaning. One of the wild things is they're just in like a subdivision too. They're not like on their own. They probably use 10% of that house though. Yeah, There's so much stuff in there that they just never, like even their guest bathroom. He does mention that they're like the party house. The house tour is also just so awkward. If you watch the full one on YouTube, she'll be like, we use this gym all the time. And then he'll be like, we don't use the gym. Yeah, And you can tell he's just hating every minute of this entire it's just so aggressively experience. modern. It's just I don't know. It's a house Even that's the, gonna look so stupid in ten years. Yeah. It's so it's it's like if someone just said like make a house look like, like a modern why are house. the walls made out of marble? Like, Everything's marble. Yeah, I mean it's out of a magazine. Pretty yeah, much. it's yeah. out of a yeah. It's a hotel. Yeah. It's a hotel. Like it's, yeah, it looks I mean like it's not horrific, but it's no, like it's definitely I would take amazing. it over my current house probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably, eh? yeah. Yeah, Shendog million. Just for the resale. Yeah. I don't know. People that don't know, Shendog lives in a mansion. Your unfinished basement is a great time. My unfinished basement. You're set up there he with lives, a little TV. He lives on the same street Shen. as a Ginla and Cole's aunt. We need to put, we need to put a, uh, a picture of Shendog's basement and then McDavid's basement and yeah. what would you rather have? <laughs> Be honest. Keep in Be mind, honest, McDavid's basement have? has uh, some popcorn in it. Okay. There was some well, made so popcorn. The one thing I wanted to there. say also about it is um, the only pictures of Connor McDavid playing hockey are not hung up. So is mm-hmm. this an issue... It is this seemed, her house or his house? Yeah. Well, it seems like he wants yeah. to leave Edmonton. He's not going to stay a while. Hey, oh. I'm just going to throw this out there. If, oh. if, he, oh, there. If, he played, if he played for the Kings, she would definitely hang up pictures of him. Just yeah. with black and white jerseys. Yeah, that's true. She probably, yeah, she's like, yeah. And she's trying to, she's trying to traumatize she's, every she's, Oilers fan, she's threatening she's that he's to, going to the Kings. Here, she's trying like to Gretzky, Gretzky him. She's trying to Gretzky him. Here's the thing, though. Like Janet Jones? Yeah, she's trying to Gretzky him. McDavid has so so much shit to hang up that I'm guessing that he puts it there's got to be a place where Don't he puts it. Like He's got to have another place where he has like a complete like all his trophies and everything. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't one trophy in that. No, house. it's no. it's the the Muskoka. Yeah, the Muskoka. Muskoka cottage. We should we should start like a thing. Like we need to see a tour of this Muskoka like cottage. He's a, I bet Everyone she, would rather she doesn't see that. have any Oilers stuff up because it doesn't go like the colors don't yeah, go. Yeah, that's black probably and yeah. the rest of that. Yeah, right, like the, why. The, which is a shit reason. He's a he's a Toronto boy. He's got the Muskoka. He's got the Muskoka lake house. Definitely. So I definitely think that he's at his Muskoka house a shit ton. Yeah, he did build one on Lake Muskoka. Really? Mm-hmm. How big is it? I don't <laughs> know. Is that a really nice view? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Abe, we should get you to search up McDavid's Muskoka house just to see if we can have a little visual of what, McDavid's what to expect here. Lake Muskoka Cottage. Yeah. This would be that nice. That one's probably a little private because it's, it's got actually This got is what up. everyone wants to see. This is what everyone wants to see. Oh. Uh, second one? Um... 
Maybe they also had a massive oh wine God. cellar too that I don't like. Yeah. If you're a hockey player, I don't know how, huge how often are you killing bottles of wine? Just type in cottage. <laughs> You didn't well, I mean, put enough words in. His girlfriend probably has, like, fashion <laughs> friends. They yeah, just come over. Just, they have to have fancy wine. That looks like it's a... Holy shit, boys. Is that's, that the one? Yeah. <laughs> that's it's the actually cottage. my hometown. Oh, Stevenson Five Bay Road. Million, Brace this Bridge. Is, this Wait. is, like, le- legit a kilometer from my high school. We should go there. <laughs> I know. We should probably. Are we sure that this is McDavid's house? Yeah. This isn't... Uh, well, it's the... F- multiple pictures had that one. If you go back. It's our... So it must be the one he bought. Have you ever seen Crosby's Cottage? No. Oh, it's sweet. He's got a mat... You know, he's a real ass. He's got a massive gym, and Isn't it's got, it? like, yeah. pictures of, like, every Stanley Cup. I think he's that. got some Mont- psycho stuff in Is this. it in Montremblant? Uh, I don't know. It's, it would make sense if it was in Quebec, but his oh, gym. Lord. Oh, there's something weird with the pictures in his gym. Like he's got. I think he's got pictures of other people winning Stanley Cups in his gym, if I'm not mistaken, just like, to piss him off. Oh. <laughs> really? Like, oh, older like, cups, like, a legend. from the 60s or from, like, every year he's, No, from, like, like, the year he didn't win. He's like, like, like fuck you, like, Stamco. 2010 or whatever. What a fucking legend. I, Crosby's ability to stay out of the limelight is the I best know. hockey player. Like, no one knows. It, like, does he have a wife? I think he has no, a wife yeah, now. He's been, does he's he been, have a wife? He was dating a girl for, like, 10 years. And he doesn't have a wife. He he does, does have I, a wife. I, I don't know if they're married or not, but... I think they're married now, because I think they introduced him as his wife. Like, he just, he doesn't have any social media. He was dating Mary Lemieux's daughter when he what? started with the Penguins. Really? Oh, yeah. He's he's married to her. The fact he also doesn't have social media Dude. as the biggest player in hockey at one point is so crazy. That's definitely not that looks his easy. wife. Yeah, I guess. That, No, that's who he's married to. She just doesn't... She's Sagittarius. Birthday's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the birthday? She's a model. So they're unmarried. No, that, I, I, the picture I've seen is it, different. It's, it describes her as girlfriend and future wife. If you scroll down, hmm. oh. oh, right there, girlfriend and future. I wife. mean, they've been. I know they've been dating for like a long time. So that's been like a thing. She was on the ice for the Cubs. Should we move on? Yeah, okay. let's move on. on. Okay, got into Crosby. Went from McDavid to no, Crosby. That's all right. Yeah. Um, back to hockey. Okay. Less pop culture, more hockey. Uh, why hasn't Travis Green been fired yet? Kind of the number one talking uh, point. Aquilini in the NHL. doesn't want to pay two coaches. You think so? Same with Benning. Benning is horrific. Does not want to pay two people to do one job. Benning has been there since they traded Corey Schneider away and yeah, Roberto he's, Longo he's been, away. He's such a long tenured coach and he's or uh, GM. And he's been through like four coaches. It's insane. It's bad. What's his contract like? I think he's either up this year or next year. Oh, okay. Isn't there? There's a bunch of. Bullshit going on with Rogers too right now. Like, the, was it because Con- they own Canucks? Yeah, I, no, they do. no, no, no. They Aquilini, do. Aquilini owns the Canucks. Aquilini. Like privately owned. Oh, oh shit. Um, they own Rogers just, is just the title sponsor, but uh, uh, they I'm the guessing Jays. they got something going Jays, on there yeah. though. Yeah, I don't know. There's some stuff. Going yeah, on. The, Rogers owns the Jays. Hmm. It's just I don't know. Like he's not. He keeps on retreading. Like he signs, he signs like what was it? It was Beagle and Roussel that one off season, mm-hmm. and then like immediately they're bad contracts, and he's like, I have to dump both of them now. Like he like makes mistake after mistake and tries to patch it up, and it's just worse. Yeah, Fuck, unknown salary. Isn't that weird that coaches don't you don't know their what? salary? Really? Interesting. Wow. Who who if um, he gets fired, who replaces him? Travis Green. They were talking about Claude Julian. Oh, apparently they Ooh. they interviewed Babcock apparently. Oh, oh which would be bring yeah. back Babcock. Insane. If they if they <laughs> hired Babcock for that team. Oh, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> I just got so upset. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is such a random thing. Um, so Cole knows. I listen to TSN every morning on my drive up here. Nice. Carlo Koliakovo, oh, yeah. some of the worst takes sometimes. Mm-hmm. There was so, TSN, I think, did like a poll. It was like, who's like the best Leafs coach of all time? Or like whatever it was. And his response was Babcock. The worst? Or probably the, the best. best. He said as the best. It's crazy to me. He's Pat coaching Quinn. university hockey as he was team Canada, like the Olympic team coach. In like what 2014? 2014 yeah. and 2010. And then and then just now he coaches like University of Saskatchewan. Yeah, University of Saskatchewan. Well, Saskatchewan. Now he could get a man. job, Holy. right? Like he could get a job. Imagine no, being a player think, on that team I and he's treating you teams, the same way he trade the Leafs. I think like, teams want to stay rank. away from him after what happened with the Leafs. <laughs> he's like rank all the players on the team from uh, one to thirty in terms of work rate. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> if, you're, shit if you're like an eighteen year old, you're like okay. Yeah. Oh my Brucey. god, that's oh uh, Bruce Brudro, one of the goofiest Brucey. looking people in the NHL of all time. That would be awesome. Mike Babcock, yes. Fuck. Claude Julien. Another grumpy looking guy. What was that J Fresh thing? Scroll back up. <laughs> you love J Fresh. I think he's just saying like since he's left, they've yeah. done they've had no improvement. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. 
Okay, so they should be fired now yeah. um, if they want to turn around their season. Might be too late. The thing is, though, Tra- okay, sorry, just Travis Green's not a bad coach. Mm. The thing with him was, I remember, I think it was last year, Canucks fans were getting, like, so up in arms about the fact that he wasn't extended for, like, a ridiculously long time. And then now it's just like he's not working out now. I guess so. It's just like another team would scoop mm-hmm. him up. Another just young team would scoop him up so fast. But he's not. This is what I was thinking. He's not some famous coach. He's not. They don't have sustained success. Mm-hmm. He's not someone that's ever won a cup. He's not someone that's uh, like they went to the second round two years ago. Like I don't know. I'm just saying. Like if you look at this roster, it's not like why he's is he given, so he's not, unfireable? He's not unfireable. I'm just saying. Like he he's not the right coach for this team. But another team would scoop him up. Really. Okay. That's what I, I think that. Really? I don't know why, but. Mm-hmm. Okay, Um. next topic here. Jeremy's team, the Ottawa Senators. Yes. What happened to Matt Murray? Because he just got called out by DJ Smith as the reason the Ottawa Senators suck. And he has gone from Stanley Cup champion goalie to absolute Swiss cheese? I don't know. How do you want to describe him? He's not great, but I think a coach saying the goalie's the reason we're losing is a yeah, guy trying to save line. his job. It's yeah. Way to I mean, that. they're giving up like five, six, seven goals yeah, a game. Like, he's also playing like Zaitsev like 24 mm-hmm. minutes a night. Zaitsev's yeah. not bad. Mm, he's not good. <laughs> For sure. I, I was I always thought it was bizarre to give up on Flurry that quick. Like, they did. They just... Even on the... When they went the second Stanley Cup. Like, yeah. Mark Andre Flurry was playing so well, and they had such a short leash on him. Mm-hmm. And then put Murray when because Murray got injured, right? And then yeah, I mean, as soon as Murray Fleury lost, good. they put Murray back in. Murray was really good. Like okay, I, I've said this before. Flurry was like so known for choking in the playoffs for so long, mm-hmm. and then turned it on his head. And then yeah, and then he went to Vegas, and everybody flipped their. Well, he was clutching the playoffs for. No, he was like mm-hmm. again. Like, he got pulled for Thomas Vokun in 2013. Like he was just. He lost the net in the playoffs so many times. He's just not was not reliable for them. Remember when Thomas Vokun got hit in the head with a stick? Yeah, that was, that was so awesome. Fun. I love that. When he just got <laughs> fucking smacked in By the his side of the head. own teammate. Yeah, his own teammate. It's one of the <laughs> all time. Did he try and hit the post? And he just yeah, he's yeah. bleeding out of his ear. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why. I love that clip. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know if I should say this, but that just reminded me of Richard Zednick getting uh, cut in the neck. Yeah, Rene Bork met him, cut in the neck too. Sounded a little funny. Rene Bork also got cut in the neck. Yeah, he did. I mean, you're playing a game with. Is it, uh, here we go. Knives on your feet. Ballard. Oh my God, these are the best. Yeah, it's, it's Keith Ballard. These are the best Thrasher's jerseys. This one, yes. and then just and fucking. Uh. Whoa, bam! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I've never seen that before. You've, You've never been, seen that? I'll go back. No. And, oh my go God, the replay. It's replay. such yeah. a brutal. Oh, he's chop. bleeding out of his ear. Oh my God, dude. Oh, oh t- we got about Tim Thomas after. I don't know if it's gonna show it again. You might just have to. Oh. Yeah, it'll, it'll show us at the very Oh, end. my God. It's so good. It's such a strange. Hey, so that's bizarre, uh, man. You know how bad you'd feel after that? Hold on. It's only the first period, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's so mad at himself on that. Like, he cut the wrong way on the yeah. guy on the back check. And oh. He's like, fuck, I'm fucked that up. Oh, my God. Oh my god, look at him. Sticks his fucking. You just have to be so confused, too. And that yeah. happens. Like, what the, <laughs> what the fuck? fuck, man? We were, John is kind of just looking at these Panthers jerseys. Johnny and I were looking at when Tim Thomas was on the Panthers with. Oh, with, with the his, Dallas Stars. No, pads. no, he's on the Dallas Stars with like. His Florida pads were ugly when he was on Florida, <laughs> and then he goes to Dallas, and he's like, "I'm not changing my pads." Yeah, he just kept his Florida pads, and on he looks Dallas. so stuck in it. <laughs> 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 look at the helmet. Look, it's so Whoa. stupid. Yeah. Never used to have look that guy. Wait, oh. He looks. He <laughs> looks like a ass helmet. He looks like a beer league goalie who left his jersey yeah. at home. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like a black helmet on. It doesn't Dude, make any no, sense. Looks, oh my god! There's a there's a picture too of uh, when Michael Hutchinson went to the Leafs the first time. Or yeah. no, it was Curtis McElhinney when he went to the Leafs. He didn't get a new helmet, and they just put like a stick, a big sticker on his helmet, so you can see the Columbus uh, Blue Jackets logo. It was like 2018, I think, when he when it was. Tim Thomas, big. I Trump remember guy. seeing this. Yeah, me and Johnny were going through that his... one. The picture where he has like the all white helmet. <laughs> yeah. If you. I don't know which one it is. Whatever. There's one where he just has yeah. stickers on his helmet, and you can see through the stickers. Okay. But Gianni and I... They just wear a plain white helmet. Gianni and I were going through Tim Thomas's Wikipedia. One of the craziest careers of all time. Like oh, yeah. he, he was, like, 
in where was he in Russia? He went to the ECHL, tried to make it to the AHL, didn't. Went to Finland for a few years, came back, was in the AHL, got called up because there was an injury, and, and, and he's like thirty at this. Yeah, point. Yeah, he's thirty. Two years later, gets to the All Star game. Jesus. For wins two Vesnas, wins the Conn Smythe. Holy shit! Look at that stretch from uh, yeah, 20, a, 2009 to 2012. Goals against are all like below 2.5. Yeah. He had one of the best goaltending seasons of all time, and oh, he Boston. was like, You're look, so look, bad. he look how he was in Finland because he, he couldn't make the Bruins. Look how long it took the for Providence him, Bruins. You mean took look how long it took for him to play like 30 games in the NHL. Like, also, he had a season in 2004 yeah. where he played 43 games in the mm-hmm. HL and had a 1.84, and they didn't call him up. It's because they had, like, I'm, I'm, it's going to sound really stupid right now, but they had Andrew Raycroft who won the, <laughs> he won the Calder that year. <laughs> he had a 1.84 over 43 games, and then weren't like, this is our guy, like, we're just going to send him to God, Finland. He was so well, because they, they, they had Andrew Raycroft, and they traded Raycroft for Tuca. Yeah. yeah. And they had, they had another veteran goalie in net who was good. He got injured, and Tim mm. Thomas stole the job from him. He's the oldest player to ever win finals uh, what is it yeah uh, uh, yeah. con smythe con smythe he was really? like thir- was he like 35 or something like 37 yeah, he was old. He's old like really old and then he did the yeah he hates the white house too i was about to say that yeah, yeah that's, he that's, doesn't even it's not Brad even man, that was he went he skipped out on the white house before it was cool like that was yeah he was, when, was when he the first guy when he skipped on the white house like that's so disrespectful to not go show someone. So, like even if you don't like the candidate don't go and then it's like mm-hmm. oh wait a minute nah. <laughs> kind of kind of flipped <laughs> yeah <laughs> um next topic yeah yep. leon dry so good shooting Crazy. percentage shooting Crazy. percentage is 33 percent currently percent right like now? 20 games a bunch Kay. of goals oh my lord 20 goals 20 assists in 19 games that pace is 86 goals, 86 assists in 82 games. And it's not like we're four games in. No. no. <laughs> we're a quarter of the way yeah, through the that's season. so insane. So and see, that's uh, 172 points with 86 God, goals. That ridiculous. would be the best season since Wayne Gretzky. A reporter, oh a reporter asked him, he's like, what, like, do you think you can hit 82? And he just started laughing. He was like, I'm not hitting 82 goals this year. Like, that's such a stupid thing to ask me. <laughs> he seems like such a fucking beauty. Fucking Dreisaitl, when they... Uh, Zegers said the story about the face-off. He seems like he's just, like, a down-to-earth Ryan, guy. Story? That was Ryan O'Reilly. That was, yeah. was it? What's yeah. the story? Um, it's just, like, they were at the draw, and Zegers... Was it, was it an NHL game, or was it, was it just a preseason game? It was an NHL game? game, but it was last year when he got called up. Yeah. And yeah. he... It was, like, one of his first games, and he was shit at face-offs. <laughs> So he said something to like Ryan. He was taking a face against Ryan O'Reilly, and he said something. He's like, "I bet you a hundred bucks I win this draw because you shit at faceoffs." <laughs> Ryan O'Reilly just went like, <laughs> like that to him. Yeah. And then he won the faceoff, and then after the game, he's having dinner, and he gets like a Venmo alert, and it's like Ryan just sent you a hundred dollars. He's like, "Who's Ryan?" <laughs> and he remembered, and Ryan O'Reilly just Venmoed him a hundred bucks for the faceoff. <laughs> 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 Nothing to do with Leon Dreisaitl. No, but okay. Good job. I thought it was Dreisaitl. No, um, I, I thought there was a good. clip that said that he called him a rookie and said, "I don't do that." Dreisaitl, oh, may, maybe. I I I okay. don't know. I didn't hear a Venmo story. I heard that they were doing a draw, and he said the same thing almost. And he was like, "Do you even have a hundred dollars, rookie?" <laughs> and like called him out. Okay, on they might have said that. That. Did you guys I, watch any of the recent Oilers games? Like uh, against Phoenix No, because they're at like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's my favorite team, so I watch every game. But um, <laughs> he, there's moments out on the ice where he's just standing still. Like, like, yeah. just, like on like the power play, he doesn't like move. He just stands there. Like he's standing still like half the I've, time. I've, so heard, I've heard that about him. He, he's he like just, just he he doesn't knows, skate. He knows exactly how much effort he has to put exactly. in. Exactly. It's work hard or work smart, not hard. Yeah. Like he doesn't skate much, but he's always in the perfect spot. Always on the ice, defense or offense. And McDavid's just always buzzing around. I wouldn't constantly. say from a skill level, like Dreisaitl's anything like 80 goal pace. You know what what Dreisaitl mean? has is, is the shooting, the quick shot, and the positioning, like the hockey like IQ. He's, mm-hmm. He like, never has a highlight real goal or anything. No, he's just no. always in the exact spot to hit the... It's almost like, it's like Ovi a little bit. Like yeah. Ovi just has that shot. He just takes it. It's not a mm. highlight real. It's just, I don't know about that. Like he's he not, has not the Ovi goals. shot, though, either. I'm just saying, like, Ovi, like, always Ovi hits always the one. I'm just goals. saying the one, like, the power play goals he scores, it's just, like, from the top of the circle one-timer. Like, he doesn't have to move. We haven't seen many, like, dry settle one-on-one driving the net yeah. goals. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of yeah. power play. It's a lot of getting really open at 5-on-5. Five five Those points offensive zone for possession. the top players in that is hilarious. Like, the number one. Is being dry settled, he's so far ahead of the guys in that draft. It's just not so. <laughs> Why is it broken? Fuck. 
Yeah, it just doesn't want to there say. There we go. go. Mm-hmm. Pass That's man. a really good draft. Holy shit. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Remember when Sam Bennett couldn't do a chin up? <laughs> freaked out. Neither could Casey Middlestat. <laughs> So got that photo of Casey Middlestat. I don't understand. They actually can't do a chin up. Apparently, no. Sam Bennett's shoulder was all fucked. Apparently, it was fucked. But Casey Middlestat pull you up. Play, if you play hockey every day, matter. like you can do a pull up. I, the fact that they make them do pull ups is so funny. I just love Middlestat's <laughs> face when he's doing it. He looks this like is he's so like, funny. The <laughs> NHL Combine is <laughs> <laughs> like okay. Like it doesn't make sense how they can't do a pull up. It really doesn't make sense. No, to do one. I mean, yeah. I can't do a pull-up, but I also have, like, 200 pounds of dead weight I got to pull up with me. If you played hockey every day, I bet you you'd be able to do a pull-up. Like, <laughs> the NHL combine's so dumb. Yeah. yeah the, the, you don't need to do, like, before there was a thing where it's, like, guys weren't in shape getting yeah, there, but now the everybody's, in sh- everybody's in shape now. Yeah. They should do sure. an on-ice combine. They should do. Like, That'd be Like, sick. NFL. Aaron Eckblad, exceptional status, too. I love exceptional status, guys. That's a Sean good, Day. Yeah, Sean Day. Mm-hmm. Great. Great. Great guy. Anyways, uh, I think Dry Settle... This could probably go with the heart at this point, right? For sure. Yeah. yeah. But Something just incredible, on. like how you mm-hmm. can not really have any high rate, highlight real goals, but be on pace for 86 of them. It's crazy. The only thing with dry sidle is if their power play dries up a little bit. Yeah. And his numbers started to dip. Like a lot of the stuff with the hearts, always like the last two months of the season, you'll win or lose it. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, Let's skip here a couple topics and go to the one that Jeremy wants to do the most. Yes. The best possible fictional hockey team you could put together. I love this. So going to hockey movies, you take the best hockey players who would be your starting five and goalie. So shout out to, I believe it was Bleacher Report. They put something out Bardown. like this. It was, what, no, Bardown also did this. But it's Bardown did that like a couple years ago. Oh, you Bleacher s- Report just came up with something recent that said something about fictional team. Are we just going to pick a guy, or how are we doing this? Like, I think we should pick, like, a team. Okay, okay. so, like, if you were the GM, mm-hmm. who are you picking as your coach? Let's start with coach. Uh, I mean, coach Bombay. Easy. Oh, I was going to say Herb Brooks. He's yeah. a real life Again. goalie. He's I know, I know. Person. But he's oh, technically... But he's a, <laughs> I was going to say, most, like, most valuable <laughs> primate. Scott but you're taking... He's you're, real life. <laughs> didn't think about that. <laughs> he's a real life coach, but you're taking like the actor. I'm talking like the actor, the, whoever the played. Movie. Who played? Was it Kurt Kurt Russ? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah I just sound real stupid there if I didn't know. Kurt Russell as Herb Brooks. Um, I think I'd go Herb Brooks. I know you're going to try it. Okay. It's a cop. You guys, sure. you guys seen you guys seen <laughs> Moon? Yeah. The the ECHL coach <laughs> yeah. in that in that movie. Oh he's my guys. When when he's on the assassins at the beginning. <laughs> I don't remember that. Sold a stick that was oh in my Goon. God. He drew, sold a he drew, I, drew, hey? he sold a hockey stick that was in Goon to a stunt. Really? Yeah. Was, they filmed the second and, one in Barry. So in that wow. movie, he, so sold a the coach, I had no idea. The coach he draws, he draws the for? wolf. We have to go images. Uh, it was like a CCM. Well, there's two coaches he has. He <laughs> has the coach in the AHL and the coach in like the ECHL. I forget. I don't know the guy's name. Whatever. He draws a picture of a wolf. All I right. like that scene. All right, let's go forwards here. Let's talk about some forwards. Oh, that let's guy. Talk about yeah. some, not him. There's another oh my coach. God, that guy's What's that guy from? Oh, uh, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. talk players here. Skaters. Um, okay. Skaters. Adam Banks from the Mighty Banksy. Ducks. Yeah, Banksy. Yeah, yeah, he's up there. You know what? This is gonna. This was my like crazy one. But the Rock, when he plays the hockey player in the Tooth Fairy, <laughs> <laughs> like he's unstoppable in this that is movie. To come on, like right wing, dump it into his corner. <laughs> like, so, and you're then, telling me I can get an yeah. enforcer that could just play right wing, but can also pot pot the puck. Like yeah. I'm taking that. So Red, goal and Reggie, goal. Reggie oh. Dunlop for captaincy. Yeah, of course. Of course. He got he saved a team from bankruptcy. He can do anything. <laughs> um in goal, do you want Goldberg or do you want the goalie from Love Guru? Ooh, Chocolate oh, Cock Grande. Chocolate Cock? I'm taking yeah. Chocolate Cock. <laughs> the French pizza, the Pop Tart with the ketchup on top. So <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh I, I mean Goldberg can score. He's got the knuckle yeah, puck. Goldberg. I don't know how you. Yeah, I don't know how you take take yeah, like, that away. Yeah, I forgot fucking about that. knuckle puck. The knuckle puck. That would you go be Darren right. Roanoke. <laughs> his shark skin suit. If you want to go Love Guru, that yeah. is one of the most Darren abs- Roanoke. One of the most absurd movies of all time. It's great. It's an awesome. <laughs> it's I don't know. So good. I don't know if it's good, good or now, horrible. The first it's time so I saw good. it, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> Rob Blake's in that movie. Yeah. yeah, he takes he yeah. takes a face off. Yeah. Mike Myers definitely pitched that to like like theaters. Like, okay, so we're gonna do a rematch of the '93 Stanley Cup Final. I'm gonna be a guru helping the team. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be Justin Timberlake and that. Like, it doesn't like how do they make that movie? Like, did you ever hear Sean Avery talk about Mike Myers' like floor hockey game that he has in New York or something? Do you guys no, anyone hear no, about this? No. Apparently, Mike Myers has this like crazy closed door hockey game 
in New York, and he invited Sean Avery to it. And he's so strict on the fact that there's like no penalties. It's not aggressive. There's no checking. Like you don't take it seriously, and you don't talk about it. And like my, he invites only celebrities to it. It's a bizarre thing. <laughs> You're not supposed bizarre. to talk about it. And Sean That's, Avery that is spilled the beans. Classic though. Uh, shout out to Sean Avery in The Rocket. Played a great role in that movie. The Rocket. Yeah, he fights him. <laughs> He fights him in the rocket. He's like the he's like the enforcer on the Rangers. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, if we're oh, talking in the Maurice Richard movie. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't know movie. that was it's a good movie. Great yeah. movie. My um, dad really wanted to see that. It was a good movie. John and I were talking about for preparing for this it. segment. Um, fan like hockey movies. Mm-hmm. Young Blood has. Mm-hmm. It just kind of came to me when we were talking about it. One of the weirdest yeah. scenes of all time. <laughs> What's Young Blood? Young Blood is this. It's a hockey movie with Rob Lowe in it, right? Yeah, Dean, Dean Young Blood. And he like joins his hockey team, and he's kind of the outsider on the team. And Patrick Swayze is like the cool guy on the team. And to haze him, they like strap him down and shave his nuts. <laughs> and that's like his hazing. And I was like, "What the fuck? Up, Do you like young blood shaving scene?" Well, I don't think we want to. <laughs> It's I mean, bizarre. It's a, it's I'm like, movie. how did it's this fly like a, back in the day? I think this is, this did not it's, age well. It's it's. I mean, it's like the Rognetto Door thing was. Oh kinda, yeah, we don't talk. About yeah, we don't talk about yeah. Rognetto Door. Yeah. Um, it says uh, Rob Lowe gets raped and yeah. by Patrick Swayze. Yeah, oh I'm like, how God. is this in a movie? He gets, this he is gets so like crazy. pinned down wearing I mean, just not, a towel by the whole team. This and is on YouTube. Uh, let's not watch this. No, it's a clip well, from the movie. Yeah, it's a clip okay, from the well, movie. Let's not put this up. Yeah, we don't have to put it up. We can do a live reaction. But Patrick Swayze's wearing a jock on his face when he's yeah, like doing... a surgeon. But I feel like that's is the that worst. Rob Lowe? Just yeah. skip ahead. Skip <laughs> ahead like thirty. This is a really big like movie. Like yeah, there you go. Yeah. So they gets out of there, tries in there like strap him down. <laughs> oh, Keanu Reeves in this movie too. Yeah. Really? It's actually, good. One. It's a pretty good movie. This I is... mean, other than the weird hazing thing, I don't. This is not funny. It's not no, funny. Look, I'm like, saying it's like, bizarre. Yeah, it's fucked up. That, this I like, know. I'm like saying this did not age this well. This was like comedy in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? 80s. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is uh, but yeah unacceptable. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if you did this today, you get canceled. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. That would not fly. Can't to do me. that now. This would be like this would be like a documentary like based on a true story, like a guy that got fucked up in the minors. Yeah. 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 Sorry for taking us off the rails. Look, this is like, what, yeah. this is the shit that used to like happen in the OHL. You remember those stories? I, yeah, the Rangers and the there's a, I was I think it was Steve Downey. He yeah. like he would get all the when they were on the bus going to road trips, he would take off all the rookies' clothes, shove them into the bus bathroom. This is Windsor? Yeah. yeah okay, he would I've tape this, yeah. he would tape all their clothes into one big ball and you'd say you guys can't get out till you're all dressed in your own clothes. I think I've heard that story. Which is, I've heard so, people. How do is that, that like enjoyable? Yeah, like you have to be so fucked up to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's fucked. Okay. Don't they yeah. stick fight in that movie too? Like in on young, the ice thing. Young blood? Yeah. Probably. It was it was absurd that movie. I mean you've seen it in like a decade. Well, but I think the thought of just fighting each other with your sticks was the craziest thing about hockey back <laughs> in the day. Like just Oh, I have one more for the fictional team. Okay. So this is a fictional person in a fictional show. Okay. So in the office. Michael Scarn. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> but also, we forgot to mention the Hanson brothers. Of course, oh, they yeah, they're yeah. just classic. Yeah. I mean, they I mean, would. They would just be a whole would, line. They wouldn't. They wouldn't cut it in today's league, in my opinion. <laughs> 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 Jack, the most valuable primate. Yeah, yeah guy scored so you many gotta, goals. You gotta, Remember when they framed him for biting the guy? That, that made me really upset. Oh, he what? <laughs> you, ever, you didn't watch the movie? Oh, I can't. I can't remember. It. I think it's number two. They framed him. They're, so in the second movie, he's like the best player in the league. So the other team traps him in the net with the goalie, and then they put ketchup on his hand and make it look like he bit the goalie. I feel like man, movies used to be so absurd. <laughs> they always a movie like about that. a monkey playing hockey. And they, they don't make movies like that anymore. No, they actually feel like the don't. worst fight. I okay. think hockey movies have the worst sports like like sports scenes in them. Like if you watch because fo- regular people just can't skate. That's yeah. The yeah, they yeah. don't know. But like, if a regular person doesn't know what an actual hockey game is, is that like sixteen-year-old mm. Rob Lowe <laughs> fighting a forty-five-year-old man in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is. Oh my god, that's all. But it's just like insane. I don't know. Like none of the hockey in movies looks good at all. If you watch like football movies, like if you watch like any given Sunday, it's actual football and all yeah. that. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I agree. Um, comic corner. I don't have any. No, no comment. I'm not logged week. in. I'm not logged yeah. into the YouTube because you guys made me use a new computer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Fantasy Corner. We got we got one more 
You got we got one more left. Yeah, we got. So you got to pick pick whatever. I just you want, want to quickly mention that the King's helmets are horrific. The silver chrome. They're not as bad as Vegas is. You both. sound, you sound uh, like my father. They both Bird. should go. I don't like the chrome buckets. I came downstairs. And it like, is. These are the. I've been talking for 30 minutes how bad these helmets are. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Tell your dad that I agreed with them. They were horrific. I also hey, hated when Nashville like went to yellow buckets. I don't like Nashville's yellow buckets. No, they should be bad, blue. too. I don't know mm-hmm. why that's a thing. I think the worst thing is Colorado's blue pants. Blue, yeah. Colorado why always do they do And that? blue helmets. They so ruin their jerseys. Man. If they go back to, like, 2001, 2002 jerseys, it would look so good. Oh, my God. Why do they put so much blue I don't know. in it? They, yeah. Their jerseys are so nice right now. And then they just had to throw in it's blue It's just the, sh- the shade of blue on them. It's and then the white jerseys, they replaced the burgundy numbers with blue numbers on the back. I, and it was Colorado so has so much to work with there, and they keep messing it up. Their yeah. third jerseys are unreal, though. Yeah, they're fucking brutal. Those pants are tremendous. <sighs> they're not showing it with... Best kits this year are Arizona, though. The blue yeah, pants and blue helmet. I don't know how... Oh. Arizona, that's all Arizona did well this year. That's a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, I don't like Blue. That. Manscaped. Okay, um, Fancy Corner. Fans corner. Yep. Speaking of the avalanche. Wait, the oh yeah, fan, right. fans corner. Woo, woo, woo. We got we have fans five corner. minutes of fancy corner. We do, Jeremy. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now we have babysitting now, us. Yeah. Now we have four minutes until. Don't tell Captain what to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Captain. Captain Phillips, he took over the show. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's my yeah. show now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nazem Kadri. Speaking of the Avalanche, Peter. nine points in Good. three games. Sell high. Um, turns out when we did Mustad, we said JT Confer after the McKinnon injury, and then. <laughs> Confer got immediately hurt, and then it just turned out to be Kadri. That's the that's an insane sell high. Yeah, yeah. incredible sell high. I don't know though. I don't know. Kadri's always been good. Like I, do you think yeah. Kadri's gonna definitely. finish the year with more like, points with like game. thirty-five goals and eighty-two points? Way ahead his career not. high. Holy, Holy shit! He's twenty-five. Yeah, he's like six and nine in three his, games. Oh my look, god! He looks so good right now. You just just sell him high because he's gonna finish the year like he's got like another. 60 games or so left. He's enough 40 points of them. Yeah, I yeah. would trade him for anyone that was actually drafted in fancy drafts to start the year that's doing decent. So if you can yeah. get like... I would sell him high for like a, a Ryan very... Like Ryan Hopkins. I, I know. I would sell him for like a buy low guy. You mean like Mark Shifley? A Mark Shifley? I would sell him for like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Underrated sleep... I, I, maybe not Kaji, but underrated sleepers peachy right now because he's doing so bad. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, so a, bad. he's a sell low, I think, maybe, but... I don't really know. I just think... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he has like no, he's like one assist this year. Okay, so bad. He really did though. Serve over for Porn last year. He was amazing. Last couple of years he overperformed, mm-hmm. and now he's doing nothing. You can't have a fantasy corner without mentioning Ovechkin. It's now three weeks in a row. 135 <laughs> point pace for Alexander Ovechkin. Oh crazy. God, I don't that see him stopping. I don't, I don't see him stopping. Cole loves Ovi. I love him, man. He's just the guy. He's just he the uh, only. He's mm-hmm. the first guy in hockey with like. A bunch of characters. I guess he's the only one that's ex- exciting in, in yeah. a sport where it there's is. no one that's exciting. I just respect that so much. It's great yeah, to see a, my a guy score and use the body. I, there's yeah. great like to that. see. It. I love power forwards. Mm-hmm. Power forward Josh Anderson. And he just does not get injured. Oh, oh, that's a great niche player. Sorry, Josh Anderson. Love Josh Anderson. Matt, actually, yeah, Matt Matt Josh Anderson. Anderson. Super handsome too. Yeah, Ovi is top five all time in hits. That's crazy, right? Like, like that's all insane. time. And like he, like he does not get injured. Like, no. Eric Lindros threw the body, and he, mm-hmm. like, messed himself up. This guy... That's thro- crazy. Look at his 70, games yeah. played. Like, oh my God. last year, I think last year he just rested, basically. Like, he had something nagging. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to make it worse. But, like, he always <coughs> plays the year out. Sorry. Yeah, he's fucking... Yeah. He's, he's the man. Absolute rock. I don't have a ton of great content here for Fantasy Corner. Uh, Tage Thompson looks like uh, he might be... The new replacement for Jack Eichel so far. I mean, that's a big overstatement, <laughs> but he is their first line center, and he's doing pretty yeah, well. Um, is Buffalo still doing well? Um, no, uh, I think like a, mm-hmm. two games under five. Their their yeah. goaltending's coming back down to earth, but they're not playing terribly. Mm-hmm. They, they should be way worse. Than I forget. I think they're, the Columbus team. game it was like six to five or something. Tage Thomas had an unreal play. Tage Thompson. Yeah. So um, whoever was in net, I think it was Tukarski. Tukarski was like. Like fell down because and he fe- and then the guy had an open net. Tage Thompson comes down, does like a butterfly, blocks the shot with his leg. Just oh. a great like laid his bo- laid his body on a line in a game they're losing like six to four, and he's just like I don't know. He just seems like a really good. He seems like he's stepping it up. Yeah, yeah, he really is. He's six foot seven. Oh yeah. my god, it's yeah. a man right there. Un- like he's he's making the Ryan oh. O'Reilly trade look a little bit less bad. <laughs> it's still mm-hmm. horrible. They won the cup. Yeah, you want I mean, Con Smythe, mm-hmm. but Con Smythe uh, and Selkie in the, the year after gets dealt out of Buffalo. <laughs> okay, just two more things. First one, uh, Tristan Jari had a shutout streak of two and a half games. 
Penguins kind of on a hot streak right now. Mm -hmm. I would probably sell high again on Tristan Jari. You me. hate Jari. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. analytics are horrible. I don't know. It's just it depends how high you are on Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think yeah. I agree. He's with not that. losing the net to Casey to Smith. No. or probably not no. trading for a goalie midseason. Yeah. So he's still going to get fifty-five to sixty games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just it's your opinion on is Pittsburgh going to make the playoffs or not? And every year they just seem to somehow make it. I would try and get a goal. I don't know off the top of my head, but if you get like a Jack Campbell instead, if you give us a player, no, with no him. one's taking that though. Uh, I don't think Robin Leonard. I'd rather have Robin Leonard. If you can pull that off, that's a good deal. Yeah. Robin Leonard's doing worse. Those are like you just name like the top five goalies. Well, Robin Leonard's doing way worse than Tristan Jari is. Hot take: Demko for Jari. Uh, no, I'd probably keep Jari. What? Anyone would take that if, as Demko. I think Demko Demko is gonna be okay. That's a picture. Are you just scrolling? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you guys see my screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, do you want to cut it there? Yeah, let's All cut right. it. Episode ten. Thank you guys for tuning in. What do we want them to comment this week? Um, comments for fantasy corner next. Or not? Pardon me. Comment corner next week. Yes, comment corner next week. We're Let gonna us bring know what it back. You think of us. And yeah. Fantasy hockey. Bring up topics. Fictional bring up topics. Yeah, yeah, fictional hockey players. players. They shot down those. some fictional topics hockey players. Nice. Topics, yeah, for sure. No, we, I think we did a pretty good job coming up with topics. But I if just, you, if, give you know, yeah. something give we've missed in, over the last episodes that people were like, hey, yeah. you guys talked about the baldest hockey players. Yeah, talk baldest, about hockey, Harry's. baldest hockey players was kind of a hit. Yeah. Yeah. People maybe, like the baldest hockey maybe players. Maybe we talk about Harry's hockey players next. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Harry. We could definitely do that. Not a new Harry. Goes to the Islanders, Lou makes him shave, and he loses his mojo. I don't know. Yeah, All right. All right. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, download Owner's Box, play the NHL Contest of the Week, use code NHL10 for a free entry. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Yeah.